Now, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brandman Man Sean, and today we're going over The weekend and how he became such a mysterious artist. And as a teeny hint, it's not just because he doesn't do a lot of interviews. That plays a small part, but the biggest reason is number five on the list. And since I brought it up already, let's use this lack of interviews for number one, leaving them wanting more. They loved his music and they wanted to know more about this guy, and The weekend said that he was nervous, actually, that's why he wasn't doing interviews at first, but he saw it work to his favor. Leaving them wanting more is just the idea of not giving it all away. You don't want to overstay your welcome and have people wishing that you would go away. You want people saying, hey, come back. I want to know more about them. So leaving them wanting more, that's actually a popular maxim in showbiz. <laughs> I don't ever say showbiz. Number two, odd behavior. A great example of this is The Weeknd actually performed with Alicia Keys at an award show one time. Later on that night, he won an award for, I forgot what he won an award for, but he didn't show up to the stands and give an acceptance speech. Normal behaviors, especially when people know you were there that day, is to get your award, right? It's normal for people to want awards and recognition. So the fact that he was actually there in the building that night and he didn't show up for his award, those kind of small little things add to your mystery. Number three, surprise. The whole idea of lack of interviews and not showing up for award shows, things like that, that sets him up to surprise people when he actually did do an interview. Although that's normal behavior for him, a lot of other people, him contradicting him, his own self to do something that's seemingly normal makes it a surprise for other people and now people are really honed in and seeing, what does this guy have to say? It must be really important for him to actually go beyond his norm because The weekend, The weekend doesn't do interviews. Number four is symbols. Now, as we know, when weekend stepped on the scene, he had this very, very unique hair that he was was known for and it was so unique and the symbol was so strong because the weekend used a lot of silhouettes in a lot of his art and visuals it made it super noticeable and it became this strong symbol where whenever you saw that silhouette whenever you saw that hairstyle you thought of the weekend it was inspired by Basquiat but for this generation that hair is the weekend as a matter of fact, it was so strong that The Weeknd actually ended up cutting his hair off because it was too strong of an image. He didn't want to be thought of as his hair. He wanted to be known for his music, right? You can even think about Lil Yachty and his hair. That red hair is a strong symbol that's associated with him. He didn't want that for himself. He wanted to be thought of and recognized for his music. Now we get to the serious stuff. Number five, one of the things that's so unique about The Weeknd and how he creates his mystery is his environment. He leverages environment in ways and in levels that a lot of people do not. The first way he uses for his mystery is his actual music. His tones, the production, the way he sings. A lot of times, especially in the beginning, he would create this environment, this mysterious environment, and then his content would be taboo, sexualized, it would represent this dark world that it really isn't the norm. And then he would use visuals. He would use black and white colors, which is so common for mystery. And then also he used silhouettes a lot, as I kind of mentioned earlier, in terms of his hair. On top of that, he used American Apparel, which took that entire template, very much known for their controversial ads and using this sexualized taboo type imaging. It went so well with his content. If you look at this ad, this ad, I'll just run through a few quick American Apparel ads and then look at his stuff side by side. You know, you can look at his mixtape and then look at this. the Helvetica Fine, the uh, the women and the small tones and it kind of looks a little dirty and natural as opposed to over edited and, and cleaned up. All of these things went into painting that visual environment that encaptured this mystery and other world that he started to paint as well. Which also goes into the last part of how he created an environment, which was through stories. He painted these pictures and told these stories in his music. A lot of his fans know that a lot of the stories were based off of some things his friends' experiences, some of his own experiences mixed in. All of this stuff created this massive environment, this whole world that you associated with The weekend when you listen to The weekend because he creating this environment Everything he does on top of that, like not really doing interviews. Now you want to know who is this guy that lives in this world, that painted this world. It makes you really want to know and understand him. And something that a lot of people don't really think about, as a little bonus, I'll add on the fact that The Weeknd's name in itself is a mystery. When you first hear that name, you don't know if The Weeknd is a group, a band, or if it's one person. You don't know if it's a man or a woman because it's gender neutral. And you have so many questions when you first hear that name until he reaches the level of fame that he's at now where obviously you know who that is. But anybody who still hears that and has no idea who he is, you don't know exactly what to think when you hear The weekend. So that's a mystery as well that just adds on to that. Other than that, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.